There is no shortage of fear mongering and panic selling going on in the crypto markets these days, especially today. Unfortunately, the HNT market price is collateral damage to what has been going on, but we are seeing it hold its place relative to its peers. Apart from all this, the Helium network is still growing and evolving and making progress each day. Almost 40,000 miners across the world are mining HNT and earning HNT rewards as I record this video. So let's try to tackle the most common and important question I see posted online regarding Helium. Which miner should I buy? There's a very simple answer to that question, and it's not what anyone is expecting to hear. <music> Welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Helium and HNT news analysis and updates. Welcome guys to a very bloody day here in the crypto world. As we can see, big, big red numbers all across the board. However, we do see Helium here with a much smaller seven day percentage red number then it's peers. Uh, we can see 32, 46, 40, 36, 39, 44, 36, 39, 47, with helium here with what looks like a small 18% drawdown. That is a good sign for anyone with, uh, with some helium exposure or minor or um, hold long, holding long term. That is a good sign. Uh, it is performing, outperforming. It's relative to its peers, which we like to see. Um, and it is it is certainly a good sign and I will take that away from that number um, if anything else now if we look at the price here the price chart um, Of course, it is just scary looking It actually seems like it actually came close to its previous low here Which is quite interesting and bounced right off and shot up all the way to where it is now Which is which is in the the $13 range, but of course as far as today goes, probably won't be settled into wherever it'll be for the next few days until tomorrow. Um, I would expect it to be all over the place, whether it's up or down until it finds a new home and can start consolidating and getting getting back on track. Now, now if we look here, we're approaching the 40,000 hotspot number, which is awesome. And we're seeing green dots appear where we haven't seen green dots, green hotspot dots show up in the past. Of course, China now is really picking up speed with all those Bobcat deliveries out and they are coming online, which is great. Now, to get to the point of this video, which is the very simple answer to the most common question I receive, which is what miner should I buy? My answer usually is when I see people ask me that or people or my friends ask me that, my answer is usually whichever one you can order and secure a place for is usually the one I would go with. And as of right now, it appears that it is really only the Bobcat because the Rack Miner and the, and the Nebra Miner have really stopped taking direct orders uh, just because of the backlog for right now. Um, but we'll get to that in one second. The one thing I wanted to touch on here is this is part of the reason why, the, why I think that it is extremely important to get your hands on or to get your order placed and your spot in line for one of these miners is because look, this red line here is the crypto, the helium mining uh, Google trend line. The yellow is crypto mining and the blue is Bitcoin mining. Now what this tells us is that this is just the very, 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 very beginning of the helium mining world really. I mean, it just started I mean, it was extremely, extremely low throughout 2020, and now it's really picking up speed with the rise of the crypto markets recently over the past six, seven months. Um, so, it, but it is still growing and it is just, just starting when you zoom out and you, you take a step back and look at, at this network. Now that is also very apparent here on the global map. Obviously you can see the, the majority of the map is empty space. So as time goes on, there will have to be hundreds of thousands and eventually millions of hotspots active across the world. And that will take time, but it's it's important to, to zoom out like that and realize that we are still in the very early stages of this network 
and of the use cases for Helium and of the the protocols being rolled out and the, the tweaks being made and the developments moving forward, it is still the very early stages. Frank Mong, the COO of Helium, actually said in a recent interview uh, this same thing. And he was trying to explain how the Helium network is still in its infant stages. It is still a baby and it is, of course it is growing rapidly, but it is going to take a lot of time to fully mature. The projected long-term growth for this network is also clearly outlined here in the halving schedule. Um, just by just by looking at this and how they've outlined the halving process and the amount of years it's gonna take to reach max and limited supply, I mean, it's a it's 50 years until that is the case. So we right now haven't even gotten to year three. This first halving is expected to take place in the coming months, but we are still here. We are still here and it is still extremely, extremely early for Helium. Now, of course, that is good news for you because you're here, you're watching this video, you know Helium exists. So that is why the answer to my question when people ask what miner should I buy is, it, my answer usually is, I would suggest wasting as little time as possible and suggest ordering the miner that you could secure your space in the soonest. And as of right now, it seems like that miner is the Bobcat miner. I say that because if you go to the Nebra website, you'll see that Nebra is no longer accepting orders right now because the, the backlog is too large. And just recently, Calchip Connect and the Rack Hotspot Miner V2 has done the same thing. And you can see here that they are only limiting the amount of purchases to a certain amount per day. You can try and get one of these 250 units per day, and I guess if you check in early in the morning or something like that, but they are doing the same thing because the backlog has grown so large. Now, the Bobcat Miner, now I'm gonna put links to all of these in the, the description below, but the Bobcat Miner right now is the one that you can purchase, you can pay for, and you can secure your spot in line. And up until this point, Bobcat has had a good track record of delivering these and getting them out as soon as possible. Of course, everyone is, is dealing with the same uh, chips shortage. So it's no surprise that, that these are taking a while and that they're backlogged so much, but they are, everyone is doing their best, but the, it seems that Bobcat is the only one now that you can actually pay for and secure a definite spot in line today, right now. And of course, as you guys know, I have purchased the Rack Miner and the Nebra Miner, um, and I'm likely going to purchase the Bobcat Miner in the coming days. I have not just yet, but um, I'm probably going to really do it now because I am worried that this is going to close and and I won't be able to actually secure my, my, my purchase and my spot in line like the other two miners have. Luckily, I've already gotten those orders in and I'm in line and I'm, I'm continuously getting updates on those, but I'm worried that I'll get locked out of the Bobcat Miner 300, so I'm likely going to place my order shortly. But I wanted to just explain that to you guys because that's how I'm thinking about this. I think it's important to zoom out, especially with all the crazy stuff going on uh, in today's market, in today's world. Um, so I suggest you guys make the decision whether you wanna, you wanna purchase one of these uh, and make that investment. And I, I would secure your spot in line as soon as possible, and of course, I do, the last thing I want to mention is that these miners are all approved through the same approval process. You can see here on the Helium GitHub, the Nebra, the Rack, the Bobcat are all go through the same vetting and, um, and approval process as, as each other. They're all doing the same thing. Helium is vetting all of them, even as far as funding goes for the company to make sure that they can make these deliveries. There's extensive vetting going on for all of these, and it's the same vetting and they are all approved, and they all have very similar features. Some will try and say that, like for example, the Bobcat will try and say that it has a four DBI antenna versus a three. At the end of the day, that is going to make a very, very little difference. Um, that is why my suggestion is to just secure your spot in line as soon as possible, and then you could take advantage of this network as it continues to grow and grow and grow over the next few years, and pretty soon, Hopefully by next year, all of this backlog business is out of the way and, and we're looking at something like 100,000, 200,000, 400,000 hotspots online. Um, that is what I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, but again, I would secure your place in line as soon as possible if that's what you're, if that's what you're interested in and, and mining helium is what you're, what you're looking to do. 
it looks like Bobcat right now is your best way. So guys, thank you all for being here. I hope you found this this uh, this video helpful. Of course, it's a little, and that's part of, this is part of the reason why I said it's a very simple answer. The answer is whichever one you could get your hands on at this point. So guys, thank you all for being here. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next time.